actually lunging towards me a little bit, growling. We're going to have to correct that behavior. I'm very proud of it. He'd be walked on a Martin Gale collar, which isn't going to give him any type of any correction. This kind of behavior is what gets, unfortunately, gets dogs killed in shelters around the country. Seems innocuous, but if you got me, it's not going to feel good. So we're going to work on this today, as long as it takes. This is a kill. This is about 10 minutes from when he was lunging at me before on the walk. I introduced him to the prong collar. You'll notice here, it's like he's off leash. We're in my backyard. There's the smells of four different dogs that live here. I have cats in the windows and so forth. And you'll notice here, he's actually okay being away from his owner while he films because he's um, comfortable with my leadership. So everything I'm doing, I'm marking his behavior as well. So he sits. We say, good, give him a little treat, don't make a big deal of it, okay? Now, I'm going to walk away and say, just walk away, I'll give him a little command. I'll say, let's go, let's go. And you'll notice here with the palm collar, the beauty of the palm collar is, it's like he's off leash, and he knows to follow to avoid any type of leash pressure. Good, sit. Good. Now, once you behave, you saw before, a lot of trainers would right away say, the dog is aggressive, he's not aggressive, he's insecure, and I think there's a leader. Here you see Achilles about five minutes into the walk. And I walked away from his owner for a moment. And you see how in alignment with me he is, how he follows me. Where I go, he will go. Zip. No leash pressure there. He gets a little treat. Good boy. You see how much more comfortable he is with having someone who's in control. When I'm ready to release him, let's go. And he'll follow. We will phase the food out eventually, but because he went for me before, I do want to have a relationship with him beyond just using the tools. How to sell dog training. Sit. About 20 minutes in, and we can see the difference. Practicing some about faces here with Euclid, formerly Achilles. And his owner is a superstar right now. I'm standing here. I don't anticipate he's going to lunge at me anymore, and he doesn't. And notice how in tune he is with his owner. Notice how he's panting too. He's actually getting mentally drained, not just physically drained, because for the first time, he's not in control on the walk. He has to take his proper role as follower, not as leader. Great job, Michael.